Hey y'all, today I want to share some things that I have been walking through. I have a son, Phoenix, who was born at the end of March, so he's just about four months old. I am currently on maternity leave for a year, so I'm four months into my maternity leave. I have days to myself to take care of Phoenix, and it's great, and it's wonderful, and I'm so grateful for that. Recently, what has opened up is this consideration of, and I shared this in my previous video about balancing the masculine and feminine aspects of myself, and how I really need both of those to feel alive because I was very much in a masculine point for the last 10 years and once I realized this and started expressing more of my femininity I was like I came alive and I was like oh my god I had no idea this is what I was missing within that one of the considerations that came up and this is in relation to my son Phoenix in particular is that I don't actually know who I am in terms of I've never given myself an opportunity to spend time with myself because I and this also came Came up in a previous video always focused externally I always focused on what was happening outside of myself and while I've been doing a lot of like inner self work over the years that realization of what it really means to go within never hit home like it did recently and I can thank Phoenix for that because it's that point of seeing children are actually the answer in terms of how we should be living how we should be expressing how we should be experiencing ourselves children are joyful they're happy, they follow their interests, they follow their passions, they follow what gets them excited. And so it was like that point within me of, how come I don't live like that? Or how come we don't live like that? It just like dawned on me like, oh my gosh, this is totally how I should be approaching my life. I should be following what really gets me excited and what really, you know, motivates me to learn and what motivates me, what keeps my interest, what drives me to get out of bed every day. I should be following that. I should be going towards that. I never really allowed allowed myself to tap in and tune into my body and really ask myself, what do I want to do? What makes me happy? What do I want to experience today? And to allow myself to do that. So one of the things that has come up is music and another thing is dance. Like allowing myself to put on some music and dance. I love to dance. I loved going dancing when I was younger. It was my favorite thing to do. It made me feel so alive. I love, love like rhythm and beats and just moving my body to the music I love doing that and it's like why did I stop giving myself permission to do that so yeah it's just that point of wow children really know what's up and we should be looking to children to show us the way in terms of what life is really about life is supposed to be fun life is supposed to be joyful and I would never tell Phoenix to turn away from what gets him really happy and excited and joyful and I will encourage him to follow what he really really loves to do and I should be doing that for myself as well. That's um, just something I've been looking at and I've had a lot of realizations like this come up in terms of how children are actually showing us the way to create the type of life in world that we really want. So I will share more in time to come. So thanks for watching and walking with